often I ask you to send me your questions and problems for dowsing, which will really give me a topics for those videos, which I would like to be informa informative and educational for you. Recently, my friend called me and she said that she had a passionate discussion with her friend about magnetic field. And her friend actually wanted her or convince her to uh, agree with him that there is nothing else but electromagnetic field and it is no way, there is no way to work with electric or magnetic field separately. And she said to me, you know, I took all your courses, you are an engineer by background, by training, so I trust you, so can you tell me how it really is? That inspired me to this video. My name is Alicia Aratin and I'm an owner of Alicia Center of Wellbeing, uh, this YouTube channel and a Facebook page, of course. And I invite you to join us there to learn more about true science behind everyday dowsing. So let's talk today about electromagnetic field and two aspects of, of it, magnetic and electric, because it's important not only really in physics, but also, or maybe mostly in our everyday life, in our health and in our environment. So if we can imagine then this, that this pen is a piece of wire and electricity flows along. Then it will create right away when the electricity will start to flow two fields. One is electric, which will kind of wrap up the cable. And the other is magnetic, which will flow along the cable. That's why we have a lot of magnetic and electric pollution under our desk where cables are grouped together and lighter. But there is a third aspect. Those two fields feed each other. If one becomes the stronger, automatically the other one becomes stronger as well. As a result of it, there is this kind of resultant frequency or vibration, which we call the electromagnetic field, which flows in all directions, kind of away from it. That's why recently we pay more attention to electromagnetic pollution because it is present farther in our place than just along the cables under. Those cables under influence our legs when we sit at the desk. But electromagnetic field influence all of us and our, and our place, of course. Well, we also, as humans, are electric and magnetic. There is electrical difference, potential difference between our feet and our head. That creates the flow of a kind of electricity or electrical in nature um, uh, current which pushes the energy through our body. But there is also a magnetism of our body which goes like this as it goes around the planet from the top of our head to below our feet. And as a result of this, we have also electromagnetic level of our existence, which is quite important in healing. All those aspects are very well presented, shown and used in the pendulum, which is called the universal pendulum, which has electrical aspect marked as a red uh, meridian, magnetic aspect of human existence as a blue line or blue meridian and electromagnetic equator, which is marked by white line. We also can work from electrical level, which is marked here, 
magnetic level, which is marked here, and electromagnetic level, which is marked here. So as you can see, we can really, from even from something what is one kind of, one thing, extract specific levels of it, as we can extract red from the spectrum of white light, or blue, or green. Because we have them, then women operate more on magnetic level. We operate from our gut feelings, from here, from our womb, when it's dark, when it's quiet. And we call it, if you follow Eastern system, either Hara or um, Yin energy. Man operates more from here. They are more logical. They are more electrical beings. And they use more their brain than their gut feelings. In healing, most of us, though, heal others as a therapist from magnetic field because from magnetic level and we do it unconsciously that's the human nature to go to magnetic field just because we are connected with magnetism of the planet and it's very easy for us to tap to magnetic level of our human uh, human body of course, we will react differently, even in, in a sense of relation with others, when we connect with people on magnetic level, or electric level, or electromagnetic level. Different types of relationship, different types of connection, different likes and dislikes between humans. So remember, those three are definitely together, but not always. When, you, when we talk about magnet, it has only magnetic field. So we do have really three fields on the earth, magnetic, electric, and electromagnetic. They have also, they are present in all colors. For example, the Egyptian pendulum called Karnak, or another Egyptian pendulum called Osiris are actually working with only electrical aspect of amazing vibration, which is called negative green. And we have on our website whole lecture about the nature of, of um, negative green vibration and also how to work with pendulums operating on this frequency. So let's summarize. There are three fields and we can work with each of them as we need. But if we talk about electricity and flow of electricity through our cables in our house, uh, in our lamps, and in our car, actually, we deal with all three, electric, magnetic, and electromagnetic. In your body, you have three of them, but we can work with each individual level to balance our health and our well-being on different level. And we will feel differently, depending on which level of our existence is not in balance. I invite you to our courses and lectures. Join our uh, YouTube channel if you found it interesting. Visit our website intuitivedowsing.com and send me your questions and comments. And also visit us on our Facebook page. Thank you very much.